and welcome to the morning of day 32. So I want to just do a quick recap of day 31. I started off at the Imp campsite and climbed up North Carter Mountain. Uh, I started about 3.30 in the morning so we could catch the sunrise. I was able to get a nice picture of the sunrise about three quarters of the uh, way up in North Carter. Uh, I, I then had breakfast up there. I walked through the Carters and then down into the first notch. It went from about 4,200 down to like 3,200, so it was about a thousand foot drop. I then had to climb another thousand feet back up to get to Wildcat. I, uh, it wasn't too bad, it was steep, but it was doable. I then walked across the Wildcats to Wildcat D. Uh, Wildcat D had a ski gondola at the top, which is a little disappointing because could have just ridden the gondola up and not had to walk. Um, and then I walked down Wildcat D Mountain. Now one of the problems with Wildcat D is that uh, the Northbounder said how tough it was to climb and how long it took them. It took me probably about two hours to walk down it because I had to walk all the way down to Pinkham Notch. So one of the problems with the whites is you go, um, you have these high points but then you have to walk like a thousand feet or 1500 feet down and then back up in order to get to the next peak. Uh, it's very frustrating. So I got to the Pinkham Notch Visitor Center uh, and one of the nice things is that some of these uh, tent sites and some of these um, lean-tos are pay lean-tos uh, but once you pay ten dollars the next ones are only five and uh, one of the deals is at the Pinkham Notch Visitor Center I got a bowl of soup and two pieces of bread for only two dollars. Um, so here's one of the problems. The visitor center marked the tra uh, trail is closed and it was a trail that goes directly up Mount Washington. The problem is, is that it also covered where the Appalachian Trail was. So we got confused and started to follow a different detour which takes you directly up Mount Washington. And we walked a good half mile and we were going straight up before finally we talked to some day hikers and they told us we went the wrong way. So we went back down and it took us probably a good uh, half an hour to figure out where the trail was and how to get to it. It just really wasn't well marked uh, at the visitor center. And we stopped at the, finally made it to the Osgood tent site at about, I don't know, seven or eight. And, um, so officially it was a 17.9 day, but probably with that extra mile, you know, we were doing close to 19. Uh, so I'm extremely tired, but I'm up and ready to go. Today is about a 1,500 to 2,000 foot climb into the presidentials, and we're hoping to get up and over Mount Washington today and get to the, I think it's called the Lake of the Clouds um, hut, and seeing if we can stay there tonight. It's only going to be... 10 miles, but it's going to be a long 10 miles because it's going to go over the presidentials. But the positive on that is I will be over Mount Washington, uh, which will be really nice. So I'm going to go uh, make my breakfast and break down my camp uh, and get going. So here we go. All right, well, thank you and have a great day.